My name is Dr. Carla Foos. I'm a technical specialist for controls and diagnostics research at Cummins. Cummins is the world's largest independent engine manufacturer. They make diesel engines, they make natural gas engines for a wide variety of applications. So a large part of my job involves understanding how the engine behaves and how it works. Um, and a lot of that has to do with modeling the engine's physical behavior with mathematical equations. So we might adjust uh, how the fueling is introduced, if we introduce a lot of fueling over a short period of time, or if we introduce the fueling earlier than we would or later than we normally would, if we introduce the fueling with a high pressure or low pressure, or how the air is introduced, if we have a lot of fresh air, or sometimes we'll recirculate some of the exhaust gases that act as inert gases that lower the temperature in the chamber. That would also affect how things happen inside the combustion chamber, which could affect the pressure. So part of the work that we do is monitoring uh, different signals and parameters on the engine. Um, and so one of them is in-cylinder pressure, and we would like it to follow a certain behavior um, because then we know the engine is operating the way that it should. And very generally, in-cylinder pressure looks like a normal distribution curve. Now in reality, there's a little bump here where the fuel burns, so it might look more like that, but in general, the shape is somewhat of a normal distribution. And what we can do when we are optimizing the way an engine behaves is we can play with different uh, parameters that affect the in-cylinder pressure. So things like the air that goes into the cylinder, the fuel that goes into the cylinder, and when it gets introduced. So we can sort of uh, adjust this shape to be narrower and taller, which means a higher pressure in the cylinder, or wider and shorter, which means lower pressure, but also the fuel may be burning over a long period of time. So just depending on what we want, we can sort of change the shape of that pressure curve uh, to get the behavior that we want from the engine. I don't know who said it, but uh, it's probably some song lyric that says, no man is an island, and that's really true at Cummins. Uh, so while we might have individual portions of projects that we work on and that we own, um, there's a lot of collaboration, and so uh, if I'm working on uh, some estimation technique, I'm trying to model some engine behavior, um, then I'll go to my teammates or colleagues that may have more experience or may have different insights. I'll go to different experts within the company that don't necessarily work on my team, but they have a lot more experience in some particular field that I would need to lean on. Um, and use that information to incorporate into the models that I'm creating to get the, the most um, representative behavior of the engine or the system that I'm trying to understand. So growing up, I was always interested in math. I think that was largely influenced by my mom who had a background in mathematics. But I vividly remember I was in grade school, maybe late elementary school or early middle school, and my dad, who is a mechanical engineer, he brought home a steering column, which goes in vehicles, and I was fascinated by it. I was like, what is this? My dad gets to play with really cool toys. I want to do what my dad does. And so I had already had the interest in math. As I went through schooling, I could see how math tied into like physics, and so I enjoyed my physics classes. And knowing that my dad was an engineer just really helped me uh, narrow my I guess you could say my career trajectory um, down to the engineering fields. Uh, so I knew pretty early on that that's what I wanted to do when I grew up. For students, I would say always ask questions and never be afraid to ask for help. When I was growing up, I used to think that I had to do everything by myself and I couldn't ask for help. Um, I think I got over that pretty quickly, um, especially with the encouragement of my parents and teachers. But it's really important to know that if you need help, someone is there to help you. You can always ask questions, especially today in the age of Google and the internet. Even if you don't want to talk to a person, you can always go to the internet and search for answers there. You should never feel like you're stuck not knowing something. So just always ask questions, ask for help if you need it. We get enough reminders of what the big picture is and so what I really enjoy, um, not just for the 
what I might be working on specifically at that moment in time, but working for a company like Cummins is kind of the global impact that they have. So uh, the number of products that what I'm working on now may eventually go in is sort of uh, mind-blowing. Like it, it could eventually go in all of their products. Maybe it'll only go in a few, but it has the potential to impact a very large number of people, some of whose livelihood depend on the reliability and safe operation of the engines and the applications that they go in.